All right, so let's go ahead and start sitting in our chair. Coming to a nice, comfortable position. It's relaxing your feet on the ground underneath your knees. And just bringing your awareness to the sits bones and noticing the bones you're sitting on, if there's, or your hips, if you're sitting on one more than the other, and just maybe kind of even it out, just bringing some awareness. And then just try again, maybe your, your ribs are shifted forward in front of your hips and just see how it feels in your spine, in your back, to maybe bring them in just a little bit so they might be over the hips. Kind of taking the curves out of that low back and just see how that feels. And then bringing the shoulders to be relaxed down your spine. And just lengthening through the neck by bringing the crown of your head up and the back of the head gently to the back. So it's kind of like you're tucking your chin in. So we're just consciously creating a restacking. Sometimes we sit with our ribs forward. This time we're just, if it feels good to you, maybe sit with them over your hips. And then taking our gaze down or closing our eyes. Take a few breaths here just to check in. Breathing in and out the nose. And can you feel the ribs expand? Maybe the whole torso expands on your inhale and on your exhale, it releases. So we're just practicing awareness. Notice if you're even able to focus for a short breath. Where is your energy? Are you really busy right now in your mind? Are you able to relax? And there's no judgment. We're just kind of checking in, noticing where we are. Let's allow for one more breath. Notice if you're even able to focus that whole time. And then we'll slowly open our eyes and gently look around, kind of waking up if for some reason it was a little tiresome for you or made you tired. And then just draw your shoulders up to the ears and release down. Two more. Just gently give them a little squeeze, just working some muscles around that rotator cuff and shoulder blades. Hopefully they'll work them together. One more and down. And then we'll release our arms down and we'll add our arms as we lift up, bring the shoulders up towards the ears. Noticing the ribs opening, exhale, release down. Two more, inhale, rotate the palms all the way up. Exhale, rotate all the way and down. And one more. So opening the ribs, moving our spine, kind of creating some movement in that thoracic spine. And down. Bringing our hands back on our thighs. We'll gently do some rolls. So just gently roll them forward, up, back and down. And then let's take them in the opposite direction and just see if you can tell that this movement moves your ribs around a little bit. Maybe when you draw back, you feel your ribs open to the front. And when you roll forward, you feel your ribs open to the back. And then release. And then we're just going to do some alternating circles. See if you can feel the ribs taking a little slight turn.
one more. Feel a little different in the back. Release the shoulders down, bringing it back to the center. And then um, that was backstroke. Now we're doing freestyle. So now roll the shoulders forward and down and see if you can notice a the difference there. Slowly release them down to our side and just let them relax there. And then we'll bring our arms out in front. So as we reach them forward, feel the shoulder blades now tuck the ribs, uh, tuck under the ribs and open up the bottom of that rib cage. And your head can follow these extensions. And as you reach your arm as far back as you can, can you feel maybe this rib cage, bottom rib cage pull in? So arms up into extended mountain, reaching and then exhaling all the way back into extension. We'll do one more. So just a simple arm movement, moving our spine around, We're going into a little bit more of a back bend there, a bit more extension, and then all the way out. And then back down to your side, take a moment to breathe and just notice. Then we'll do cat cow arms um, out in front. So from here, inhale, open, just letting our arms move with the cat cow spine, and then exhale gently round. So noticing here, as you inhale, open, the middle or the front of your ribs are opening, going into a little deeper back, back bend, and then exhale gently, reach your palms forward, opening the back middle back of that rib cage between your shoulder blades. And one more little heart opener. A bridge, exhale round. And then interlace your palms, press them forward, open up those ribs. Reach those arms overhead and then just start to walk the shoulders or the ribs out of your hips. And then release those arms down all the way to your side. And we'll take a little side bend. So let's bring our, actually, before we do that, let's do a forward fold. So we're going to come down. Um, you can come to your forearms if you want. You don't have to go all the way down. Um, and you can just stay here and do a cat cow. So you can kind of round your spine. Actually, let's do that. Let's take our forearms to our thighs. And then gently press the forearms into your thighs and round your back, pulling the belly in, tucking the, the chin in. So it's the cat cow spine. And then inhale, lift the chest up, lift the tailbone up, and gently press into your thighs. But we're not using our arms and we're actually loading our shoulders or upper body. So see how that feels. Do that one more time, tucking the tailbone under, pulling the belly in, pressing gently the forearms to your thighs, tucking the chin in. And then inhale, lifting the tailbone back, allowing our heart center to come forward, pressing gently into our thighs. And then we'll, um, you can stay with that or if you're okay, we're gonna do with the knees together in a forward fold. So gently start to release down into a forward fold. And stay here. And just start to notice a little bit of pressure changing in your body with your head below your heart. This in, changes pressure in your cardiovascular system. So it increases blood pressure. So if you're on blood pressure medication, be mindful of that. Breathe in it. So the, rib, the front ribs are kind of compressed. So breathe into the back of those ribs. And we're changing that pressure in our spine, in our diaphragm. And just taking a moment to practice noticing if you can feel anything. And then we'll bring our hands to our thighs and re-stack all the way up. And just position yourself where you were before we started. And just be mindful here, take a breath in and out. And simply notice if anything's shifting. 
And keeping that nice tall spine, we're going to draw our chin in and down and just get a nice little release in the neck since we just got some blood flow there. So see how that feels. Take some slow breaths here and notice if you can feel the stretch change throughout the breath. So on your inhale, the ribs expand, it moves the shoulder blades, moves the clavicle, that joint. So see if you can notice that in the neck. And then we'll walk our chin to our right shoulder. Take a breath in and out and let that left shoulder melt down your back. Back to the center and over to the left, breath in and out. Allowing that right shoulder to melt down the back and just noticing if there's a difference on the side. And then bringing our chin back to center, keeping our chin in. Gently come all the way up. And then we're going to take our right hand on our chair. So you can kind of scoot a little bit to the left just for support. And then we'll bring our right ear to our right shoulder. And we'll start to lower the right rib cage, that bottom right rib cage down to the right hip. And just feel a stretch in the left side. And then notice how it shifts when you add your arm out to the side, up and over and see how that feels. And then gently bend your arm, take your hand, and let you, bring it behind that occipital lobe there and let your head rest into your hand. And then very gently see if you can bring your elbow and point it more towards the ceiling. And just notice how it opens up the bottom left rib cage. You might feel a little bit more open in there. Take a breath here. And exhale, gently release out of that. And just Notice, take a breath in and out. So we're slowing our mind, our bodies down by focusing our minds. And then we'll shift. Because sometimes where our mind goes, our bodies go. So we're trying to practice awareness here. Let's bring our left ear to our left shoulder. And then the ribs. So continue that side, but bend down the spine. And just this side's opening. See if you can notice that. And then explore, adding the arms. Does that work for you? Relaxing the shoulder down and then taking the hand and placing it on the back of your head. That's a low back there, like you're cradling your head. You're not pressing down on it. And then just notice your, you might be able to see your right elbow and your peripheral vision. Gently point it towards the ceiling so it's out of that peripheral vision. And when you do that, very gentle, see if you can feel a little opening of your ribs here. It's going to shift the spine around. Pull those ribs to your hips as you come out of this. And then let your arm melt down. Just take a moment to let things settle in. And then we'll bring ourselves back to center for a rotation. So however you want that spine to stack, we're going to inhale. Think of creating length between each vertebrae. And then keep that as you exhale gently, take your right hand behind you, left hand on the outside of that right leg and take a little rotation to the leg. And just bring awareness to those bottom ribs. Do you feel that any of those ribs are popping out? So typically when you rotate to the right, the right shoulder blades pull back and it kind of, again, opens up that bottom right rib cage, maybe. And just simply notice that. You could, we've practiced this before, gently draw that rib towards your body and you can feel a little bit more of a stretch to the back side there. Slowly back to the center. Breath in and 
now. Inhale, lengthen. Slowly rotate to the left, left hand behind you, right palm on that left thigh. Take a nice twist. Exploring those ribs, seeing how that feels. Maybe drawing them in a little bit towards the body and seeing how that feels. And then slowly back to the center. Nice. So let's um, warm up our hips just a little bit. So we're going to shift um, to the front of the chair. And take your hands on the chair and then just gently sway your knees side to side. See how that feels. Getting those ankles to work. You're rotating onto the big toe side, the pinky side. And then we're gonna take our feet out wide and rotate the knees in, internal rotation and out. See how that feels. And then we'll, actually let's heel toe back in. So bring your toes in. Lift off your heel, bring your heels in, lift off your toes, bring your toes back in until they're hip distance width apart. And then we'll just um, lift the right leg up and lower down and lift the left leg up and lower down. Go back to that right leg, lift it up, bring it out to the side, stay here. Take your right hand on the outside of that leg. So preparing for like warrior poses, warrior two, that frontal plane. See how it feels in your hip to gently press that thigh bone to your hand. And you can press the hand into the thigh bone. So kind of opening up that right hip and then bring it back to the center. Same thing, left side, just as far out as you Feel comfortable, and then taking the hand on the outside, gently pressing that thigh bone into your hand. Bring that back to the center, and then we'll do a little boat pose, so making sure you're nice and straight here. You're, I'm gonna turn sideways, but you stay forward. So you're here over your hips. We're just going to gently bring ourselves out of that line of gravity. So don't round through the back or over the arch. And just feel that transverse abdominus kick in. We're going to add a little bit by bringing our arms out. So take the right arm out to the side. Coming out of this if this is bothering your back. And then the left, back to the center, left arm out to the side. To the center, pay attention to that low back, that core, both arms up to the side, three breaths. One more breath, challenge yourself. And then come back to the center, take a breath in and out. So we're gonna work our core in the opposite direction. So we'll do Salambasana like locust arms. So I'll just show you real quick what we're gonna do with our arms. So we'll do right, then left, and then both. And so that's um, shoulder extension. We did it while we were upright. So when you lean forward, again, same thing, keep that spine nice and straight, like lift your ribs out of your hips as you bring your torso out of that line of gravity. Let your hands relax, so no support. So that could be a lot, you could just stay there. Let's just try um, bringing our right arm behind us as far back as we can into a shoulder extension. Now that feels, release it, and then the same thing with the left arm. So keep your chin in, you shouldn't be looking at the camera, looking down at the floor, try to cue it as best I can. And then left hand back down, and then gently lock it in. 
both arms. So you're trying to force your rib cage forward, but you're pulling it in. Three breaths here. To make it more challenging, bring your thumbs towards each other. Keep the ribs from popping out. And release that. So we'll kind of release a little bit in the low back. Um, you can sit back into your chair a little and we'll bring our right knee in and just give it a hug. So you're pressing it in using your hands. You can interlace your fingers and pull your shin bone towards you with your hands. Then I want you to keep that, but then press the shin in towards your hands and just feel maybe a little deeper stretch into the low back there. So I've heard this called a sacrum reset. So you can see if that uh, happens to you, reset anything. It felt really good to me. And then come all the way back up. So that compression, um, low back, uh, disc issues, just be mindful of that. So from here, we'll bring our right knee in. I'm oh, sorry, left knee in. Give it a hug. See how that feels. And then maybe interlace the fingers. And then squeeze that leg in towards you, like using your arm strength. So we're squeezing our leg into our bodies, interlacing our hands in front of our left shin. And then from here, you're gonna keep that. So you're using kind of arm strength. And then you're gonna press the shin bone in towards the hands. So notice that there is a difference on the right or left. You might feel a little deeper stretch down to the low back. So we were pushing the leg in towards us and then we keep it into it towards us and we try to gently push it away from us. Again, this is like a thumbprint. And then release. All right. So we're pretty warmed up. Before we come up to standing, let's do some sun salutations. So let's bring our arms up. Inhale. Exhale, reach forward and round, release down. Inhale, halfway lift. So lengthen your spine, gently press your hands into your shins. Keep the chin in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, move through your halfway lift. Rise all the way up. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms up. Two more. Exhale, swan dive down. Reach it out of your hips. Release. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen, pressing the hands into the shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, move through your halfway lift, arms up to the side. And then exhale, release your hands down. And one more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen and strengthen that spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, move through that nice strong spine, arms up, and exhale, release the arms down. So let's go ahead and um, just make sure your ankles are warmed up. You might want to do heel toe, pinky side, thumb side. Um, take them out and do some circles. Actually, let's do that. Let's see where you're feeling that. And then the other side, and then trying to straighten the leg, circle around. And then we'll come up to standing when you're ready. So we'll just come all the way up, walk behind our chair. And we'll go into down dog. So I'm just gonna turn the chair sideways. So hands are gonna stay on your chair. And you're just gently gonna walk out as far as you feel safe, usually about 90 degrees in the hips. And if you're feeling a stretch here, just stay here, um, lengthening through the spine by reaching the tailbone to the back of the room, the fingertips towards that chair, opening up the shoulder joint here. 
If you feel like you could go a little further, bend your knees and drop your ribs a gently pat below your shoulder. So that's going to extend your spine, take it into a back bend. If that doesn't feel good, go ahead and straighten that spine. But we're trying to keep a nice extension in our back here. And then from here, can you gently, like a thumbprint, press down into the chair and kind of gently try to push the chair away from you. You can stay here if you'd like or try to straighten your right knee. And then bend that. And then the left knee. So this takes it into the hips. So if it feels good, just, just lengthen to the spine. Don't worry about the hips right now. We'll get to them when we stand up. And then straighten both knees maybe. But mo more importantly here, I would like for you to engage um, extension in your spine. We haven't really warmed up the hamstrings a lot for that. And then we'll slowly look to the front of your chair, lifting your head up and then gently holding on to that chair as you walk yourself back to the center. And just notice your breathing. You didn't really do much, but bringing the breath over, bringing the arms overhead extends the spine and that changes up the pressure in your diaphragm. And if you were dropped down, your head might have been below your heart. So just take a moment to notice, and then we're going to stand in a nice, strong Tadasana. So feet directly underneath your hips. And if you have socks on, like I do, take them off. And then we'll lift our toes up and just wiggle them around. Bring some movement, holding onto a chair. And then spread them apart, all toes, all 10 toes. And then just see if you can lo lower all 10 toes, spread them apart, down onto the floor. Go to your mat. And then once the big toe's down, can you lift the pinky toes up? It's working some joints in our feet. And then can you just, keeping the big toe down, just lower the pinky toe down? We haven't done this in a while. Gotta lift out of those toes, not supposed to, but. And then from here, we'll just kind of shake it out. And then come back into those feet underneath your hips. And so we're going to bring our pinky side of our foot parallel to each other. So you might feel like a little internal rotation in your hip joint. And again, this isn't for everybody, but just kind of maybe play around with different forces in the body. Make sure, make, make, you know, just to see how it feels. Maybe light up different neurons, different pathways, bringing in new movement and contractions. So from here, our toes are all woken up and our feet. See if you can tell, if you can notice that. And then we'll press into the big toe mound. The outer edge of the heel. Notice what muscles are contracting here. The pinky toe mound the inner edge of the heel, and then drawing those four corners towards each other, just like engaging all the arches, see how that feels. And then bring the awareness to the knees, very gently see if you feel like the knees are pointed in, point them towards the front. So you just gently point them towards the front. You might feel your glutes engage, some outer hip muscles. That might have felt good, like support in the back, or it could have compressed. So just what works for you. And then shift the hips back a little bit so you're not hanging out in the hamstring. See how that feels. Same thing with the ribs. Gently pull the ribs in towards the body. Let the arms relax down. The head stacks on top of the spine, just like we were seated. Take three breaths here. Bring your gaze to one spot. Staying here with your hands on the chair or reaching the arms up, extended mountain. So as you reach the arms up, I don't know if you can see my hands, but see if you can get the palms to touch. And then stay here. So palms are touching, maybe. Notice if your elbows are out to the side, see if you can straighten them, drawing the shoulders up. And then see if you can rotate very gently the elbows to the front. That's just gonna be a little bit of a closing um, of the 
arms to the head. So it kind of looks like this. And you just are going to broaden those shoulder blades, engage a little bit of lats, three breaths there. But that's if you feel comfortable releasing from the chair. Inhaling and exhaling. And then when you're ready, release those arms down to your side. Notice your breath. Breathe in and out, just simply adding arms overhead, what that can do. And then we'll go into a bent legged forward fold. So this time you're going to take your hands on your chair, bend your knees, but you're going to walk your hands down. And if you feel like you can reach for the floor, you can reach for the floor. But this is just kind of nice little stretch in the back. And then we'll go ahead, look to the front of our chair and start to walk our hands up the chair. And I'm gonna bring the chair back around in front, but I will probably move it again. So you'll just take your feet and um, heel toe. So you will just heel toe, heel toe until you're at a wide stance. And then very gently sway your hips side to side. So we're just gonna kind of open up the hips. So when you're swaying them side to side, can you feel a stretch in your inner thighs? And you can take your hands on your hips if you don't have to be on the chair. And then just noticing if there's one side that's a little tighter. And then we're gonna take our hands to our chair and gently, Let's open up our hips a little bit more. So we're just going to bend our right knee, but sit back behind your right heel. You can take your hands to your thigh if you want. And just a little deeper inner thigh stretch here. And then just come back up, just kind of a little bit more movement until we go to extended side angle. Same thing, left side. So hands are on the chair, or they can be on your left thigh and just sitting behind your heel. Getting a little bit deeper, stretch in the inner thigh, press into your left foot, squeeze your left hip as you extend out of that. So hands are on the chair. So now we're gonna take our right toe and rotate it to the right. And then very gently bend your knee, kind of like we were. And when we were seated, we were working this hip. And see if it feels okay. If you wanna create strength here, grounding to pull your right knee towards the pinky side of your foot, or like what we did when we were sitting, have your right hand on the outside and press into that hip. And then just see if your hips are level, and if they're not, maybe make them level. Does that feel more solid to you, or do you like it when they aren't, aren't like that? And then maybe taking the feet and drawing them together, and then pulling that awareness into the pelvic floor bringing your arms parallel or keeping them on a chair. Take a full breath. Let's take two breaths in and out here. Warrior two, Virabhasana two. And then we will release that. Straighten that right knee. Rotate those feet forward. Take a breath in and out. Both feet are facing forward. Just notice. We'll do the same thing on the left hip. So hands can be on the chair and just gently rotate your toes to the left, bend your left knee, and then start to practice awareness. What can you do in that left hip that's gonna make you feel sturdy? Maybe pressing it towards the pinky side of the foot, maybe pressing the heel towards the back, maybe liking the hips neutral, if one has dipped below the other. Maybe adding the arms. Stay nice and strong here. Two more breaths. Pressing into that left foot and drawing that energy up, right foot and drawing that energy up into the right hip. Lots to do here. Maybe lining the ribs. And then release your hands down. Straighten your left knee. Rotate the toes forward, 
Hands can be on the chair or hips. Inhale, exhale, wide straddle, forward fold. Getting a little bit more of the backside, inner thighs. So if your hand, if you're using the chair, you will simply walk your hands down the chair. And if you're on the chair, see if you can, if your hips usually hang out behind your heels, see how it feels to walk so that your hips can come over your heels. So instead of hanging out in the back, just kind of bring it forward a little bit. You might be too close to the chair, you might have to scoot back. And we'll slowly walk ourselves out of that. Come all the way up. Try to heel toe your feet. So if you can, soften in your knees. Bring your heels in and then your toes in. Just kind of working those hips nice and slow and ankles. And then once you're there, shake it out. And we will come back to a seated position. So once you're seated, take a moment to notice, slow down. Let's bring the ribs over the hips, do a nice settling in here, about three breaths, and just noticing, letting things shift. And we'll take our right leg, cross it over our left. We're just trying to get a little stretch here in the outside of your right hip. We'll take our left hand on our right knee, right hand behind you, lengthen on your inhale, and exhale, rotate to the right, but send your right knee to the left. So get a nice little stretch there. Again, notice your ribs. Maybe it feels good to pull that bottom right rib in. And then we'll come back to the center. We'll go ahead and do the left side and just see how it feels on that left side. Because for me, I can really feel my right bottom rib, rib cage open out, but I don't feel it as much on this side. So cross the left thigh over the right thigh. Right hand on the knee, left hand behind you. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, rotate to the left. And just see if there's a difference. And just play around with positioning and awareness of your ribs. Release and unwind and take a moment to breathe, slow the mind down. We'll do a little bit of a pigeon pose. So options, taking that heel and crossing it on top or ankle on top of your left thigh. So this right knee is um, abducted a little bit. You can stay here. It's going to be in the hip a little bit more and lean forward. Or you can take this knee and bring it in a little bit so that it's right under your right hip. Your shin's kind of more on your left thigh and you can lean forward. It's going to be more into the low back. Slow. Slowly and exhale. Release out of that. 
hold a nose for about five breaths. So uncross, take a moment to see how that feels. And then I would do the same thing you did on the right side on the left side. So we're gonna cross the ankle on top of the thigh. If your foot's on the thigh, kind of press the outer edge of your pinky side into your right thigh so that your left ankle doesn't drop down and the sole of the foot curls up. So lengthen here and come forward and see how that feels. That's more into the hip. Or take the knee in front of your hip, shins kind of more onto that thigh, and lean forward. release out of that both feet down on the mat you can walk your knees out wide and do a forward fold or you can keep them together but out wide you're just going to be able to invert a little bit more so it's just see how it feels in your ribs like the breathing's going to change so you can notice that um, noticing the blood pressure change here just being aware When you're ready, we'll lengthen on our inhale and then exhale, place the hands on the thighs and then inhale, lengthen through the tailbone and the head and exhale, round up. So curl the tailbone under, pull the belly in, up in that chin in and just re-stack all the way up, nice and slow. Once you get there, come back into that check-in position, reposition your ribs, your shoulders, your head, eyes down or closed. Just take a few breaths here, just to simply notice. Hands can be in your lap or at your side. Ready, gently shift back into a nice, comfortable position. And since it's around Thanksgiving and holiday, we'll do a little gratitude practice. So get comfortable, gaze down or close your eyes, and bring our awareness to our feet. Lots of nerves in that feet to sense our environment that we walk on, our support. And just notice how the surface underneath the feet feels. That feels grounding. Just being thankful to the earth and gravity and that being there just to hold the feet in its place. They're not just like hanging out in space, but they're able just to rest there nice and easy. And that same awareness to your knees, and relax, no pressure. And then just notice that the chair is kind of caressing the hips, allowing them just to relax, your low back to relax. That chair feels like support for the body. Bringing that awareness up the spine into the shoulders, the back of the chair supporting the shoulders and just being thankful for that chair just to allow the body to relax. Bringing your awareness to the shoulders, the neck, the 
jaw, the brow line, and just be thankful for the breath. As you breathe in, may it bring any of those areas that are carrying tension a sense of release. more breaths practice this awareness. Full breath in and out. Just noticing if there's been an energy shift. See how that feels in the body. We'll bring our hands to our heart center. As we inhale, noticing, be thankful, grateful for that light that we have within. Sit on our exhale, bow in our heads, and noticing that that light is in each and every one of us. Awesome.